So on this episode, we talk about the relationship of branding. Okay, so when most people think about brands, they think about what the company is. For instance, they probably say brands is McDonald's, Nike, Target, for instance. And it's much more than that. And I think branding is a correlation of what it is and the presentation of it. So you got the brand on this side and then you got identity on this side. So identity is pretty much what the company represents itself and what it presents so that could be the logo that could be their color palette that could be their imagery and their market and that all relates to what the brand is all these things emphasize the identity of the brand and that correlates to the clothing behind it or that could relate to um, the commercials that come out online and that's all identity that's as a designer, your, that's your job is to create an identity and that falls into the brand. But branding, branding is very critical. Branding is what makes and breaks a company. Branding is what sells. And a brand is the relationship between the customer and the company. And that leads to brand loyalty. We all have brands that we all we rather go for you know either it's you know the the competitive of one brand versus another for instance you got Nike on this side and you got Adidas on the other side and it's up to you to decide oh which brand am I more loyal to maybe that loyalty comes from your family members or from friends or from a society of um, classism which I'm gonna get to that in a point and what it goes into, it's like, for instance, for me, my parents always had Sony televisions all the time. And we thought that Sony televisions last forever. And we would always buy Sony. And then that's where we were brand loyal. You know, I got, I got it from them. And recently, about, you know, five years ago, we moved into Samsung. Why? Because we realized we bought a Sony uh, television and it broke on us. And we lost that brand loyalty. So we went to Samsung and we've had Samsung's before and then now we just buy Samsung's because they're more reliable and that goes into loyalty and that's branding. You're branding a market. Credibility. So you, you know when you think of credibility you think of you know street credit and stuff like that. A good good brand that does that very very well is Supreme. Supreme. Which, by the way, th that Supreme logo is from a very famous artist, which I will link below, and this is her work. And what it is, it's um, they're very, they're very, very, very credible. They have a lot of credit, you know. They're very, their fan base and their customers are very brand loyal. You know what they are, and you know when they come because they sell unlimited amount of items, and everybody wants it, you know, and. They follow that module, that business module, that market audience. They picked an audience, they created an identity, and they followed by that with the brand. So where am I going all the way with this? Well, I'm currently working on a branding kind of company right now, and I call it Agility. And it's a sportswear brand for myself to put in my portfolio. It's a personal project that I'm putting in my portfolio. and right now I'm thinking about the identity of it and then I'm gonna follow by the brand and how I could put this all together so that it could be loyal and it could be people can relate to it now that we got that all settled in um, we did the research now it's now we got to do development so the development of what I'm creating this is I created the logo here's my logo it's called agility and I picked that logo because it falls into the um, the form and space of sportswear. Agility, you know, you're able to move, you know, it's it's a word that correlates to the brand and correlates to the identity of sportswear, the market. That's why I picked that. And the words, the key words that I picked are 
sleek, minimal, elegant, clean, solid, refresh, light, youth, strength, lounge, futuristic, cyborg, lines, and modernism. I pick those words and then what I do with those words, I kind of get imagery and I get graphics and I get things that, that follow by with that. Here are a couple of logos that I've used before. I'm going to now create product for it and kind of a layout for it. So now I'm gonna go make some product and I'm gonna try to lay this all out in a form. So uh, yeah, let's go do that. Okay, so here is my logo and it says Agility, this is Avenir and I like how the G and the Y mix together and how the lining goes well and this part. I really really love how that ended up and as for an icon logo I kind of went with this I went with kind of like an A for agility but with the triangle kind of a thing I added these two circles to give it kind of like a silhouette of what an A could look like and the balls are kind of like basketball or anything related to sports you know how it's always a a ball kind of form when it comes to tennis or baseball or basketball or anything like that it's always a ball a ball is a very iconic sport um, representation and agility and sports where it all fits together so I kind of made that into what it is this is the color palette that I picked I went with this color palette because it forms well it's kind of nude but still like Asporadic and is still kind of minimalist in a way. This is the envelope This will be kind of kind of like a style guide, you know of what the product will look like in its form So I have the logo here. I have what the product is and the actual product itself This is what kind of what it would be like in a digital form like representing kind of like on a website of some sort Here's package design that follows the same thing as you know what I was saying about metallic colors and how like anything kind of futuristic or minimalist is a lot of metals involved. This will be kind of the sportswear kind of the product of itself you know where I get the one piece and the agility how it will look like in the product how the brand will look like in a product and here are more pictures of that this is kind of a pattern that I make with the A's Here's kind of like a minimalist design with a t-shirt. Very simple graphics, but very effective. All right, guys, so that's the foundation of the product. Usually what I would do now is take a couple of days or a couple of weeks, go back in the product, redefine it, add more products, add more applications, you know, tweak it up a bit. But for now, that's a good foundation of what a project, you know, branding will look like in my perspective. And that's all personal. This is all personal, just for my portfolio. So. When you do something like that, you know, you're very open and, and it's all on you, you know, so that's the benefit of having a personal project like that where you can grow as a designer and you can do aspiratics that are not normally done in a corporate world or in the working with other people. So um, that's how I would go out and do a branding project. But uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.